Showbiz Stories, footy fanatic Linny Allen was seen weeping on Wednesday night after her beloved team Fulham lost in the Europa League, Europa? Europa League final. Now, Lily was said to be inconsolable after an extra time goal from Atletico Madrid. Bless her. You, can you tell I know a lot about football, how I said that? Yeah. Yeah. Atletico Madrid. Atletico. Madrid. Atletico Madrid. <laughs> uh, but can you, I mean, obviously I'm not a massive sporting fan, but can, but do you follow sport? Would you, can you be upset at her crying? Well, I, I, I can't understand it really, but I have to say that I've got a cousin called Gary Bertels, who used to play for Knott's Forest, and he was a fantastic striker. And whenever I saw him, but it was my cousin, you see, so I cried when he hit that ball over the ground and the people put it in... No, he put it in the net, that's right. I mean, and that, made, that upset me. I, I did find that... Because, uh, I mean, that's Why my... Why does that upset you, though? You, that's well, when you're supposed no, to cheer no. and jump up and down well, no, and hug strangers. Just because I love him and I was passionate. It was like, you know, like McEnroe and Borg. Do you remember that tennis match, that famous, famous tennis yeah. match? Well, you couldn't have helped be moved by that, could you? And cry over that, because that was just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't cry over anything, you see. No. You don't. I do. I do. I do. The red wine. No, no, I don't. <laughs> I never cry. I never cry. I never cry. I never cry. Yeah. 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 Spill. Uh, no, I never cry when I'm drunk. Um, I just I don't understand that whole crying over sport, because it's just a game. You know, it's a, yeah, but you know, I, I used to be a really serious football supporter. I was a, a season ticket holder for Tottenham Hotspur for about six years, actually. And the only thing that used to make me cry. I think there was a blood That's there. True. <laughs> I don't care. I don't really follow anything anymore. But the only thing that made me cry about all of that was the price of the season ticket. <laughs> Honestly, it used to make me weep. It was so expensive. And then they were, they were rubbish then. That made it even worse. Yeah, but you but are an I emotional person person, aren't you? I've seen you be emo Well, I can't remember. Anyway, I know there was once in, in eight years that I've seen you emotional. I cried at the football no, on... No, I did Sorry. Ooh, you've got what? Oh, you've yes. <laughs> sorry. No, I cried at the football on Sunday. Oh, did you? Yeah. Because Steve yeah. came on and played for 20 minutes. It was the funniest thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bless him, he was so excited, he was limbering up and basically he came along and they, it was like a friendly and, uh, like a friendly, and they said, um, right, whoever, get, who need, whoever needs someone on the team, you can go on. So he came out and he was all dressed in yellow and blue and then they didn't need him, so he came out again dressed in black and white. <laughs> just, and he just looked like this really hopeful little kid and eventually he went on. Well, he hasn't really played football for us. Or you could hear him go up and down the pitch, is it? <laughs> And then he gave away a penalty and the other team scored and won. I, I thought it was hilarious. But he was really, he was, we were very he proud. You should have been consoling him. him. Years ago I went to a boxing match at Wembley. It was, remember when Frank Bruno was like at the top of his game and there was this massive event with uh, him fighting Tim Witherspoon. And I took my granddad and I wasn't really into boxing. But the passion of the crowd and the energy and the fact that the whole country was behind him at that time and he got an absolute pummeling from Tim mm. Witherspoon and I cried and I'm surprised at myself because I really didn't think that I would get moved by it but you know things like <coughs> X Factor you oh, know when I you see during X Factor yeah I mean even when the dogs are performing <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you must get moved by stuff when you get a, a child with they a don't beautiful dog on X Factor yes, they, they do, do. On X oh no not X Factor <laughs> <laughs> You're cross. pathetic because you know. <laughs> it, oh, they, no, 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 it is because that is in touch with my feelings. They put that music on and, and they're ex they want you to cry. It's when it and you're swells just up giving like into that. it. It's, yeah, it's nothing it's to cry about. about. Is there nothing on television that's ever moved you? Well, I, uh, I I might have shed a little tear the other night. Oh, Gavin and Stacey. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because it was the last episode. And two things about that. It was very sad because Smithy was making that little speech to Nessa about, you know, yeah, being the dad to um, the little baby. Yeah, but he's not real. No, that's not the point. <laughs> that point. But also, what's sadder than that is that that might be the last ever episode of Gavin and Stacey, and that really, really upsets oh. me because it's so good. So you do have some emotion. So she gets no, no, but I oh, no, but I didn't. I didn't cry because Mark was there. I didn't want to see me cry, so I was like, oh, isn't this just ridiculous? <laughs> 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 okay, well, no need.